Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start World 2 with of course 2-1. <laughs> So, if you can't tell from the world map, it's a desert world, yes, and it starts to introduce pokies here. You see, they're pretty long, well, tall, but tall is long, but you can actually shoot out their segments with fireballs, and if you shoot out the head, the whole thing dies at once. <laughs> yeah, so I, it, it's, it's like they're separate, yet they're not actually separate. And then we got these sorts of blocks here that pop out when you hit underneath them like that, but eventually they collapse down back to their regular size of which you can just change them back to a higher uh, plateau, I guess you could call them, by hitting underneath them. And I jumped the gun there. <laughs> That's fine, I got the coin anyway. So I got a pretty big pokey here, just uh, doing a dance to the music here, and there we go. Yep, this is the pokey level, <laughs> for the most part. Uh, it's a pretty easy level overall, but you know, it's it's World 2, so it should be pretty easy overall. If it's not easy at World 2, you're probably playing I Wanna Be The Guy or something. <laughs> and that little pipe there doesn't really like contain a secret uh, exit or anything like that, but if you want to go down there, grab a mini mushroom and go down there, it's just a bonus area of sorts. And here we have a oh, oh, piece which my controller is doing that again. <laughs> what you want to do is make a platform so you can get up to the top of the flagpole up, over, up and over the pokey. But I, I sort of kind of failed to do that. I mean I got up to pretty high but not to one-up standards. <laughs> anyway, 2-2, let's get it started. And now we got these, I don't know what they're called, but you can actually hit them underneath as many times as you please. Yeah, they, they're like some sort of ropes, yet they're not actually ropes, they're pretty solid. I, <laughs> I don't know what their names are, but they're pretty neat. They're like unlimited blocks, I guess you could say. Uh oh, Lakitu. It's gonna throw spinies down. That's what it does. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I want that Koopa to see what's inside that box. Probably just a coin. E. Oh! I suck. <laughs> yeah, it's just coins. Anyway, let's ignore that now and just continue on. Voila. <laughs> it's not like I got very far that run anyway. I'm just sort of messing around here looking looking at stuff and I think I want I want I want its cloud so I'm gonna try and jump on its head yes oh all right you have to use the fire flower to knock it out of its cloud I forgot about that otherwise the cloud just dissipates um, but yeah there are some stuff hidden in the sky in this level which is why I want the cloud so badly I just have to pick my opportunity wisely. I think you can also use a shell too. E. Yep, okay. Get in this cloud and you can control in all directions with the D-pad. The cloud will eventually disappear though, so be careful of that. There's a star coin. Isn't that nice? Uh, I don't think there's anything else over there, like in the sky, at least on that side. There is a um, secret exit, if I recall correctly, uh, by going down a green pipe and getting shot out of it. But it's not its not until the very, very end, and I didn't want to do any ground pounds there before. Yeah, it started throwing spinies. I didn't know where I was going to throw them. <laughs> Thank God for wall kicks. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This level's strangely a disaster for me, but yet, somehow, some way, I'm making it. <laughs> um, up here is the thingy that I'm talking about here. See the, all this coin trail here? Well, you're actually supposed to do this. Now hold up, and you'll go inside this pipe. <laughs> I could have also done that by... Um, wait, maybe it's not a secret exit. Maybe it's just 2A coin. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm thinking of some other level. But yeah, Star Coin is in here, and now this level is complete Star Coin wise. So yeah. But uh, hold on. Um, yeah, I don't think this one has the secret exit that I'm thinking of. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to exit stage right. 
Uh, you want to jump off of this block, ah, jump off of that block in order to get to the top of the flagpole. Ah, there's that little edge stickiness again. Mm, mm, there we go. You just need to have enough speed off of that block, and it's not like you can get enough running speed on the block, hence the uh, trickiness of that flagpole. Not, well, I guess it's not that tricky, you just said you gotta make a one block jump relatively quickly. Yeah, okay. Um, but I, I think, if I recall correctly, um, the, the level down there is the one that has the secret eggs that I'm thinking of. Anyway, 2-3! Let's start! And we're starting out with a pipe. To a very cool underground pipe level. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. It's even got little pipe fitting details here. Is that not awesome? I like this level. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of blabbering about my love of this level. There's even some rather creative elements to it. Like, uh, see that thing that I went through? You can only go through it in the direction of the arrow. And this is going to create some puzzles uh, later on in this level. And... Wait, 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 I took a wrong path, I took a wrong path. Well, I mean, that was okay if you wanted coins, but uh, that's not, you came back. <laughs> that's not the kinds of things that, uh, um, what am I saying here? I don't know, I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, I'll just forget about it. I'm going to... Grab that star coin. You could break this puzzle here by shooting the piranha plant with a fire flower, but I thought I would do it the regular way because it's not all that difficult to demonstrate anyway. And uh, if you didn't have a fire flower like I do in reserve there, you wouldn't be able to figure out the puzzle. Well, you probably could figure out the puzzle, but what I mean is that um, there is. Um, like, if I didn't demonstrate it to you, you might not know. I mean, this is a walkthrough after all. <laughs> uh, okay, now, right here. This is where the paths branch off. What you want to do is hit that switch and race up here. Now, hurry up and hit this switch and race off to the right here. The reason why is because there's a secret exit. And I'm kind of unsure how to get to the top of this flagpole unless you have a mini mushroom. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? It, there's just like no running room to get up there. Unless there's like a hidden block there or something like that, or I don't know. Just kind of mystified me a little bit there. Okay, so there's one exit to that. It doesn't lead to the cannon like I thought 2-2 did. I mean, for some reason I thought there was a secret exit in 2-2, but no, no I, I was mistaken. Ooh, and now, since I got so and so far in the level, I can pretty much just race through the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh, no, super, super, come on, come on, there, good boy. Yeah, those, those bats, they always, yeah, they're called swoopers, the bats. They're always dropping down to the point that you are when you drop down. Um, here's what I mean about breaking this section. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's the power of the fireball in some sections. And I got the wind point, woo all right, now this is the um, spot where the switch um, had different directions, but this time we're not going to go up there. We're going to go over to the right here, which is far, far less um, frantic to get up there too. Giant piranha plant! They're not going to make it. Um, split path. I hate these. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Because uh, split paths and walkthroughs, I never know which one I want to take first. I want to take the one that has the bonuses first and then take the regular route, but you really don't know what it's going to be until you take it unless you have that level memorized, but I don't have that good of memory. <laughs> um, I do remember this, though. This is a really interesting uh, physics puzzle. See, there's a there's a plat platform over there, but you can't like jump to it normally. And, but there's a star coin over there, but how, do you, how the heck do you get there? You actually have to run over to that uh, platform. Um, I, I kind of did it wrong, but... <laughs> Gotta kind of... Eh? Nope, did it wrong again. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure you can run over to that platform. Hold on. I mean, I have to have a certain amount of speed. There we go. I, I was like, I knew I could do that, because I've done it before. <laughs> um, 
what's up over here? Nothing! Could I wall kick in there? Oh, oh, I just want to do something tricky. Oh, it is possible! <laughs> it's, it doesn't help your speed running, but I just thought I would see if it's something that's possible. By the way, these uh, sewer covers that you see here, I've been breaking through them, or I should say flipping through them by using a ground pound if you didn't realize that. Otherwise, they um, hinder your progress by uh, just being there. You have to kind of figure that out. It's not that difficult to figure out since they introduced you to the wall kick already. Uh, sort of kind of puzzle here. We've got uh, a, a race of sorts. If you have the fireball, you can break this again. <laughs> but otherwise, see, you'd, ha you'd have issues with that piranha plant. But with the fireball, you would just be able to jump over there with the piranha plant out of the way. But here's how you're supposed to do it normally. Do, do that, then loop around, and then use this platform, and then there's the bridge, you're above the prana plant, and there you go. Not a difficult puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless. And this is another one of those ones that I think I need a mini mushroom for. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm going to put this here. You don't get high enough to reach the top of the flagpole. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 I never found that before. Oh! found the solution okay so then I have to do a wall kick and run and jump there we go yeah something tells me that other exit I missed a uh, hidden block which is why I just couldn't figure it out I mean they don't seem to make flagpoles or at least I could be mistaken that they don't seem to make flagpoles that are inaccessible to you if you are not a certain power. I could be wrong about that though. It just seems like that at least in uh, most cases because like, like I always think that there's something that you can't do and then I find something like that invisible block there and I find you can do it. <laughs> Alright now let's start 2-A on the secret path. Sort of kind of secret path. And oh, I need. Uh, wait, is this the level that I need? No, wait, this isn't the level I need a mini mushroom for! Yeah, we got a fish issue here. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, you can kill it with fireballs. Like, quite literally, kill it with fire. Unless I fail. I'm gonna switch. Well, not switch. I'm gonna get the reserve fireball out just to show you that I can kill it, then it'll make it easier to get said eat shells work too <laughs> to get said uh star coin not a difficult level you just gotta sort of stay away from the water for the most part and watch where ye old fishy is and uh most of the level is actually away from said fishy so it's not uh, like you're gonna be tremendously pressured to avoid taking a hit at all times like boss bass in uh super mario brothers 3 um, oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? I wait, I, I, wait mm, I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, well, there's a bonus of sorts up here, but I bet you can't ground pound through these. Mm, yeah, I didn't think so. Just thought there might be something interesting, <coughs> interesting in those. Because there's something that you don't want to ground pound, it looks like, because, you know, fishy fish is below. And, yeah... Um, I'm just gonna avoid you if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. By the way, a thing you can do when you're spinning like this is um, bounce off an enemy, and you'll be able to get more height off of the enemy than you would otherwise, which is something I'm going to do uh, very soon. Oh, geez, oh, geez. I'll go to the right. Get yourself between that and get ready to press down to like ground pound the scoopa and you'll bounce off high and be able to reach this pipe. Now why would I go to this pipe? Because there's a star coin! And why, there's the, another pipe here which leads to a secret exit! Yep. yep. Oh, I failed. <laughs> Maybe there's something in those two boxes or something that I should have tried hitting before trying to make that jump. I don't know. Alright. But we're not done yet. When there's a secret exit, there's a regular exit, and I intend on getting to it. It's actually right uh, over where that Koopa was to reach. How to reach the um, uh, secret exit using spinny spin platform thing? The the thing about it is that there's a split there, and it it's kind of a puzzle, or at least a. Uh, kind of considered it a puzzle in that you have to figure out how to get up there. And if you don't know the physics 
of uh, the spinny, spinny, platformy thingamabob. I still don't know the names of them. <laughs> if you don't, oh no 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 Anyway, here is the other segment, and we've got a spinny spinny platform, of which we want to get as far to the right as possible. Oh shoot, because you want to bounce off the Koopa and get to the flagpole there. Let's see if I can get a one-up off of this. You just gotta hit the Koopa, oops, when you are, I mean, when it it's over to the far right side, excuse me. Like, as far right as it'll possibly go. And... Is that good enough? Is that good enough? Oh, I'm so close! <laughs> Not bad, though. Nice. Alright, now that level is 100 percented And now you have access to this pipe over here. If you go inside the pipe, you'll be pooped out all the way over to the castle. Yeah, you can skip out on quite a bit of the levels here, but, you know, we're not going to do that because 100%ing and all. And I'm going to go to the 2 dash cannon here because I just like to make the space blue on the map. Notice in the background you see a little snippet of said World 5, because remember it's the Ice World. Yeah, World 2 and World 1 both have cannons that lead over to uh, World 5 here. I didn't uh, want to spoil anything by mentioning that they show the background, I mean, show in the background the level that you're going to travel to, you know, what, what its theme is, but yeah, now that, now that you've seen what theme it was, I thought I would teach you it or, or show you it over here. And I think I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.